Hey YouTube, 97 Retro Game Nerd here. This is another haul. This is Wednesday. Sorry for not making any video videos lately. I haven't really been picking much stuff up until now. Um, let's start off with. Um, well, actually, I made a trade with Video Game Shark. Um, I got a bunch of Intellivision stuff for free. Um, and I made some nice GameStop finds. So, let's go with the GameStop first. Got a couple of rare Wii games. You might have saw in the rare collecting rare Wii games video, but I had picked up Walk It Out on Wii. This is about a forty plus dollar game, and now's a good time to buy rare Wii games because they're cheap, twenty dollars or less, and you know forty plus dollar game. This game comes complete, and it actually came with the original sleeve. You know, I can see it says Walk It Out right there, so that's cool. And then it comes with the original receipt I have, so I can give you guys some proof that I got it. So this is Walk It Out, $17.99, great price to pay for this game. Um, now games like this, it's rare for a reason, because nobody bought it. I mean, who would buy Walk It Out at launch for like $50? <laughs> I mean, you gotta be nuts to do that, but... Yeah, walk it out. Pretty good shape. I actually have um, the original sticker. I don't know if you want to see that. I forgot to make the writing on it from where it's from and stuff. But it is the bottom one. Right there. So walk it out. $17.99. Good price to pay for that. Um, there's only two copies within 100 miles. And once I got it, I checked online. And uh, the other copy, which was between 100 miles, was gone. So, yeah, I mean, there's not really much competition for rare Wii games. I mean, this was sitting online for more than a week. Uh, F1 2009 picked this up. This um, was about six miles away from my uh, place, so it was a little, you know, took a little bit to get there. It took about 20 minutes. But, uh, yeah, this was 1999. This game comes complete. I forgot to show you the manual. I uh, <laughs> forgot to show you the receipt. So, Formula One, 2009. I'm going to show you this disc condition. It's very nice. You know, might as well get these games now before uh, GameStop will be liquidating them. And, well, before GameStop won't sell them anymore, and then they'll really be hard to find. So, I also have a thing for that. So there's that, Formula 1. Made, my, made a trade with the video game shark. I traded him all my Nintendo powers for these two NES games. These are really rare NES games. Well, one of them is. Um, the first one I got was Battletoads Double Dragon. This is about a 50 plus dollar game. Um, it's a little dirty, but the label is really nice. And I just need to clean it up. It'll look really good. So I was happy to get that game. And I was really happy to get this game. This, this game made the deal worth it big time. We got Bonk's Adventure on the NES. This is a $250 plus dollar game. Well, in this condition, it's worth about $250. There is a rip on the label. And this is now my rarest NES game. My previous one. I'd say Wayne's World is actually rarer than DuckTales 2. Because like a lot of collectors actually have DuckTales 2. So I'm trying to think. You know what? Maybe it's not as rare as everyone like says it is. You know? It's not like the top 10 rarest NES games, you know, DuckTales 2. But Bonk's Adventure, I think this is actually in the top 10 for rarest NES games. Uh, label is pretty rough right there, but um, on the corner it's a little like that. But in this condition, it's worth about $250. Um, yeah, mint copy goes for like $300. So, you know, he found another copy, better condition copy. So he's like, you know what? You can have this if you like, you know, but you gotta... I knew I wasn't giving something up that was cheap, you know, I had to give up something I liked in my collection, but I didn't really mind trading Nintendo Powers. I'm really happy to get this game. It's a really fun NES game. It's hard to find rare, fun NES games. Wayne's World is horrible. Probably one of the worst NES games I've ever played. But, um, yeah. And now we got to the Intellivision Hall. Let me move a few things around. I'm 
this in front. So, the guy that had the stadium mud buggies, um, I gave him some advice. I said it deserves to go to the best home, and the guy with the highest offer. Um, you know, um, he ended up selling the the game alone for two hundred fifty dollars. I know you guys, some of you guys saw it on eBay. That's the guy who bought it, and you know he emailed me afterwards. Said, "All right, I sold it to the guy who had the you know highest bid." He didn't want to hassle with eBay and stuff. He was um, he was near the guy, you know. But I ended up, he ended up getting, giving me these games for free because I was so nice to him. And he liked what I said. And I don't know. I was just really nice to him. So um, he, I didn't know he had this, the actual Intellivision console. Um, I was originally just getting the games. But I said, all right, I got a console as well. Might as well give you it. So it's a really good Intellivision um, condition, Model 1. Comes with this cool case. A little dusty. And television in really nice condition. There's not much dust on it or anything. I think this will beat my other Intellivision for condition. But, you know, it's got the wires and stuff. So, yeah. Push that off to the side. Got the bottom tray. So that's a cool thing. We got some boxed games right here. Remember, this is all for free. Um, we have motocross. I don't really know much about television games other than the rarest games, like, you know, Worm Whoppers Rare and stuff, but I don't really know if any of these games have some value to them, but we got motocross. This game is complete right in there. We got NHL Hockey. Comes complete. Demon Attack. Comes complete. Tron Deadly Discs comes complete. Frogger comes complete in there. Let me know if you're interested in any of these. I will be willing to trade it for some like Nintendo games or something, you know. Uh, let me see. Defender by Atari Soft. Um, there's the game and the manuals in there as well. So it's a complete copy. We have Boxing comes complete. Super Video Arcade Space Battle. That game comes complete. We have an Intel Voice, voice Synthesis Module. Makes your games talk. Um, this is a box, but my... my Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you that um, I got the Last of Us poster from GameStop. I asked if they have any posters they're at the throw out. I said, yeah, we got this one. They're actually switching the posters. So, I ended up getting that for free. The Last of Us, I guess, Game of the Century or something like that. So, I was really happy to get that poster. Um, back to this, guys. I know you guys were are all hyped about this. So, you know, we got the uh, Intellivoice voice synthesis module. This is up for trade or sale. This comes complete. It does not... I don't think it actually had the manual. And it doesn't have the styrofoam. My other one had the styrofoam, which was nice, but this one doesn't. So, you know. Um, you know. That's nice to have another boxed one. And then we get to the main thing that has tons of games in here. I'm going to have to lay down for this one and then pull it off for you guys. So we got this case. So, it's a case filled with games. Look at this. It comes with a bunch of manuals. I'm going to show you the manuals first. We got Pitfall, Snafu, Frog Bog, Shark Shark, Intellivision 90 Day Warranty, Astro Smash. Yeah, let me know if you uh, if anything here is worth anything. Armor Battle. Tennis, Buzz Bombers, Las Vegas Poker and Blackjack, Word Fun, Burger Time, 
how to play sub hunt NFL football we have bowling triple action horse racing star strike looks pretty fun night stalker NBA basketball Space Spartans looks pretty cool. Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Treasure of Tarman. Bomb Squad. Intellivision Manual. Master Component thing. Alright, so Advanced Dungeons and Dragons. Um, just the regular one. Sea Battle. Stampede. Beauty and the Beast. Mission X. Tron Solar uh, Sailor. Yeah. B-17 Bomb! <laughs> Major League Baseball. Utopia. Auto Racing. Skiing. NFL Football Playbook. We got the... Um, what's it called? Just like the regular manual. or Not really a manual, but... Um, a lot more fun to get another thing. What is this? It's a it's a map to something or a poster or it's an advertisement thing. So there's that. Intel voice a voice synthesis module manual, very nice. Uh, a second one. Is this a manual? Oh, just a little thing. Oh, same as the other one. Maybe it's just an advertisement for the game thing. Um, this is another advertising thing. Advertising piece. Uh, a magic video game cartridge, Mattel system, magic cartridges. Um, now we get to the, all the games. Beauty and the Beast. A baseball thing with the baseball game. You know what? Since it's all together like that, I'm going to keep it like that and tell you the titles. Because it's all together like this. We have Auto Racing, which is right here. Comes with two overlays. Uh, tennis, which is right here. NBA Basketball with a couple of overlays. Bowling with a couple of overlays. Football. I don't know what game this is. Doesn't. Oh, that's Night Stalker because the things are right there. Uh, Night Stalker. Oh, that's Night Stalker right there. Uh, this is a mystery game. This is horse racing. Oh, this is must be to advance Dungeons and Dragons. This mystery cart doesn't have a label on it. Horse racing. Star Strike. Space Armada. Armor Battle, Mission X, Astro Smash, um, Word Fun, let's see, you got Carnival right there, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, Treasure of Tarman right there, Word Fun, Frog Bog, Lock and Chase, Triple Action, Snafu with a couple of overlays, uh, Advanced Dungeons and Dragons, um, one right there, Sea Battle, Sub Hunt, Poker and Blackjack, Stampede. <laughs> oh, sorry. B-17 Bomber. Yeah. With its overlays, B-17 Bomber. Oh, my God. Um, Tron Solar Sailor stuff. Pitfall game. Tron Solar Sailor game. Bomb Squad. Um... The golden cartridge, I think that's pretty cool. Space Spartans, Buzz Bomber, 
Shark Shark Skiing Burger Time. So that's my haul. Um, sorry, it's 15 minutes. But, I mean, we got a lot of stuff. I went through it pretty fast, I'd say. Um, so, yeah, all, all these Intellivision stuff for free. Really nice guy. Um, I got to say, I mean, I got to look things up, these up. Uh, 45 Intellivision games. Uh, I think it's 44, actually, because he sold that guy the... Uh, see mud buggies. But, yeah, um... I mean, we got half an Intellivision, more than half of, it, of the Intellivision collection, and I didn't even make an attempt to tr even try to get some of them. I mean, I just got handed them down, like, half the collection right here. I think there's about 110 Intellivision games, something like that. But I don't want to waste too much time here. So, uh, yeah, thanks, YouTube. Bye.